Hello, time for another Man in Great book review. Today's book is Maktub, an inspirational companion to the alchemist by Paulo Coelho, translated from Portuguese by Margaret Jill Costa and published in 2024 by Harper Collins. It's 224 pages long. Paulo Coelho is a Brazilian author and songwriter who's best known for his 1988 novel, The Alchemist, which is one of the biggest selling novels of uh, the 20th century. It's sold, to date, it's sold somewhere around 150 million copies, and it's been translated into over 80 languages, which makes Paulo Coelho the most translated living author uh, around. Um, despite the subtitle, this book really doesn't have anything to do with The Alchemist. I think they just put that on there to try to sell copies of this book. Uh, Maktub is actually a collection of newspaper columns that Coelho wrote for a Sao Paulo newspaper in 1993 and 1994. It's a collection of some of his best, or what he considers his best uh, columns. This was a daily daily newspaper column. But unlike most newspaper columns, there's, there's nothing in there about politics or the author's personal life. There's nothing about the arts or any, any current events. These What these are are short uh, stories, fables, parables, devotionals about spiritual improvement. Uh, some of them are, it's sort of a combination of, of um, Christianity, Sufism, uh, Zen Buddhism, uh, and uh, New Age thinking. So kind of a mishmash of stuff. Um, and they're all very short. Um, most of them are only a page. Some of them are only half a page, so they're, they're quite short. Um, so let me go ahead and read you one of them, give you an idea of what they're like, see if you'll be interested in reading one of these, uh, reading this book. So here's one of them uh, uh, from this book, Maktoub. A man living in Turkey heard tell of a great master who lived in Persia. He didn't hesitate. He sold all his belongings and said goodbye to his family and went in search of wisdom. After years of traveling, he finally arrived at the cabin where the great master lived. Full of fear and respect, he went over and knocked. The great master opened the door. I have come all the way from Turkey, said the man. I made the whole journey in order to ask you just one question. The old man looked at him in surprise. All right, you can ask just one question. I need to be quite clear about what I'm going to ask. May I ask it in Turkish? You may, said the master, and I have now answered your one question. If there's anything else you want to know, then consult your heart, and it will give you the answer. With that, he closed the door. So that's one of the uh, one of the stories from this book. And a lot of them are like that. They have little twist endings or, you know, parable-type endings to them. Um, this is the kind of book that uh, it's short enough that you can read it all in one afternoon, but I don't really don't think you would appreciate it if you did that. And this is a book that's best read in short bursts over a period of time. In fact, you could treat it as a daily devotional and read one of these a day, uh, or you could read, you know, get up in the morning and read three or four of them, or read three or four before you go to bed, kind of inspire you. Um, but it's not, if you read them all at once, you'll, you'll, realize that there's a lot of repetition here. There's basically a lot of, and you know, anytime anyone's doing a daily column, you're going to have a lot of that. Uh, there's, there's a, you know, basically the same kind of ideas that you hear all the way through this. And so it, it's probably better read in those short bursts. But if you're a fan of Paulo Coelho's books, uh, you'll, I think you'll really enjoy this book. Uh, it's not a novel. There's not an overarching plot. It's a collection of short newspaper columns, but uh, it has a lot of the same philosophy and teachings and ideas that you get in Coelho's other books. The book is Maktoub. Uh, the author is Paulo Coelho. This has been another Man in Great book review. Thanks for watching.